yeah welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing us how to cut a coil gown I'll be using a silky fabric, the, the Adirez silk. So I folded the fabric into four. I've already cut the neck area. So what I measured here was three and quarter for the width of the neck. So for the width of the neck, I use three and quarter and for the length of the neck, I use three and a half. So from this neck point, I'll be measuring about four and a half for the shoulder line. Or let me say five inches for the shoulder line. So this is five inches for the shoulder line and from this shoulder point I'll just need to add the sleeve length. I have 18 inches. I have 18 inches left on the fabric. As you can see. So from where I marked here which is the shoulder point I measured 18 inches from there from this upper part from this part of the fabric the folded part measure the waistline so I will say from that from our shoulder to our waist is 17 inches so that is the line I've ruled here, also I marked here, all through, 17 inches. So, from, so from our 17 inches, from our 17 inches, I want to get our hip line. So, our hip line, I use 9 inches here. The basic inches is 8 inches. But I decided to use 9 inches for this one. So, and I also marked my 9 inches. I marked it all through. So, the next line we are getting is our knee length. So, I do use our basic knee length from our waistline to our knee, knee line. Should be about 24 to 25 inches. Our waistline from there I measured 25 inches downward I just hope you can see the line I'm using a white chalk I don't have any other color so this is our new length which is our 25 inches and the length of the dress the coil dress you're making the length of the coil dress is 62 top of the dress you measure downward the two inches so I'll also rule I'll rule it out The main um, measurement I'm using is actually 60 inches, but the 2 inches is for the seam allowance and the M allowance. So, I've actually gotten the length of my dress, so I'll cut away the rest of the fabric. To get the cuff we needed on our, on our dress, we'll cuff it. From this is our new line, and this is our hip line. 
the third line here is our waistline so what we need to do now is this is our hip line and this is our knee length line so from this place on this our knee length with the allowance i'll make it 13.5 13.5 multiplied by 4 is what we get so i'm marking my 13.5 around here so from this my 13.5 I'll mark this 13.5 all through to the hem line to the M line and from this nail line I'll need to cough it up to the hip line so I'm coughing it up to the hip line from this nail line I bring it up a bit and I cuffed it all through to the hip line but I didn't get to that edge because I want the sleeve to actually come out a bit than that of the cuff on this line which is our waistline we measure around 22 inches and mark it that's our waistline that means the remaining part of this place should be around five inches so we we'll, we have around five inches here so that means from this part all the way that's our new line we are coughing it this way you know we cough it to the 5 inches so that means from the near line we come up a little bit like 2 or 1.5 inches and cough it to uh, 5 inches at the waistline so when we get our waistline, we can come up by two inches or two point five inches. But for me, I'll just come up by one inch and at this one inch that I came up with, I'll connect it back to the edge of the fabric. No, now I'm placing my ruler for the remaining five inches. So I connected back the remaining five inches. Definitely, I don't just want this to just come straight like that. So at this point, I might decide to just shape it back. From that edge to the the waistline, and, and what I did here, instead of me coming straight this way, I just got my slant from that joining. So that means as the cuff is coming from this side, you know, so has not to get. A sharp edge 
I'll get another cuff just right here and blend it back so that means there is a cuff when I'm coming this is this is the this line coming straight from here is our waistline so immediately the cuff I'm bringing down from the down part I'll bend it I'll bend it at this part and I'll bring it down at the waistline again so the next thing we have so this is the neck area and this was the shoulder point that I marked earlier so from this shoulder point I said my sleeve will get to this point the edge of the fabric which is my 18 inches so from that point I'll come down by 2 inches from the edge of the sleeve I'm coming down by two inches and I'll get my ruler so from the shoulder point from this shoulder point I'll connect it to the two inches we'll cut that side we'll cut it out So now we have our shoulder slant, so I'll just need to cut this my shoulder line into two. I'll do the same thing here. So the next thing we are doing is just to cut this out. I'm cutting from the hem line, I'm starting my cutting. On the hemline, and I'm following the traced line that we did. Cuff at this edge. Now that is it. So that's the sleeve. Um. That's the end. Now I have both the front and the back. I just want to slit the middle of the neck a bit. I just want to slit it a bit, just like about four inches. So, I mark my four inches this way. And I'll use my scissors. So, if you want to have a slit at the front, like me, Make sure you've removed the back before slitting this center front so that you won't slit both front and back together. The next thing I'll be doing is getting some of the fabric and I'll cut out the facing. What I'll use to hem the neckline inward. So I'll cut out the facing for both the front and the back. I'll cut out facing. So after cutting out my facing, I'll use the facing to hem the neckline inward and also use it to hem the neckline in the front inward. And after doing that, I'll face the right side of the fabric to the right side of the fabric and I'll sew the fabric at the shoulder line to the sleeve length which we said this is 
from here from here is our shoulder line so we'll run the stitches all the way we'll run the stitches all the way from the neck point to the sleeve length and from there we'll run our stitches all through the arm hole part this is our arm hole part um, our arm hole part through the cuff area to the down part of the dress we we'll do the same thing at the other part the only place we are leaving that we won't run the stitches through is at the sleeve end line which is here we will just run the stitches from the neck point to this place we'll leave this place and from this place we'll run the stitches all through this is the remaining part of my fabric so you're still going to fold it into four part and i'll be placing the neckline on the fabric so i am also cutting on fold this is on fold i folded this part and i folded this part and this fabric here the dress is also folded at this part so i'm facing it to this part we want to cut our facing at the shoulder line i might decide to make the basic is around two inches but what i'm doing here i'm making my own facing four inches now on the facing i marked four inches and that's for the shoulder line because i'm also cutting this neck part i'm cutting it out so for this part i want the facing i want it to come down at least to get to this place inside the fabric so that it won't be coming out of the fabric so i want it to come down a little so what i did here is i'll be using around 5.5 Oh, let me see six inches I need to cut this out now this is where the four inches stopped I'll bring the fabric up like this to the four inches that I wanted it and I cut it straight down both for the front and the back we now have the facing this is another one so as for the coil gown we've we've hemmed the neckline with the facing we actually cut and this is the slit we make at the neckline at the front the place we actually did our cuff for that side we made our cuff this was the cuff to just bring out our sleeve area this is our shoulder what I want to do to my own sleeve area is to do a gathers which i have done i gathered the mount of my sleeve i gathered it so after gathering the mount i've cut i've cut in some strip of fabric i want it as long as this my strip of fabric i want it long so this strip is what i'll need to join here I'll join it round 
round my sleeve and it will have a row so that is what i'll do and i'll show you after joining but i'll join this to my sleeve and it will have a row and i'll do the same thing at the other side i've also gathered the other side and this is the shape already you can see it's actually coming to life this was the bottom this is the bottom area the straight part and this is the cuff the cuff area the first thing i did this is the facing this was the facing i cut i also slit the facing and i slit the top at uh, the gown and the, at the front and i hemmed it in and this is it i made it longer a bit so that it will be coming out so that it will be coming out of the cloth and i did the same thing at the back i joined the shoulder line all through to the head of the shoulder to the head of the sleeve because we added our sleeve to the body so i joined it all through straight and as for this place i left it opened this side i left it open so from where we stopped our cuff from where we stopped our cuff was where i started my sewing again and i sew all through to the bottom line just an half inch and i did the same thing at the other side Yes. 